You found your new home, you've been approved for your mortgage, and now you're ready to celebrate. But one thing stands in your way, moving. Moving can be super stressful, especially if this is your first home. So we have some tips to help you plan and stay organized during your move. Step one, planning. Before you start to pack, you should make a moving calendar at least one month in advance so you don't have to do everything at the last minute. This calendar should include things such as declutter garage and change of address. The next step before you touch any of your boxes would be to take inventory of everything in your house and decide what's staying and what's going. You should consider selling or donating any old things that you don't use anymore. So that means leave behind the old broken Christmas lights and the socks with the holes in them because the less you have to move, the better. And the final step of planning would be to do your change of address. It can take up to two weeks for it to go into effect. So make sure you do that as soon as possible. You can find the link to change your address here. And if you still need more information, make sure you check out our blog on what to plan before moving. Step two, organizing. Make sure you get together all your supplies beforehand. That means boxes, tape, bubble wrap, anything that you might need during your move. You should also check out Craigslist, liquor stores, and grocery stores, because these are great places where you can find free boxes. The next step should be to get together any basic tools that you may need, such as a hammer, screwdrivers, or pliers, because you never know when these are gonna come in handy. Also, if you have an obscure tool that you need for a tricky piece of furniture, Make sure you take that tool, put it in a plastic bag, and tape that bag to the piece of furniture so you don't misplace it during your move. Step three, packing. You should pack a bag with two weeks worth of clothes and essentials. That way, you won't have to be digging around for a toothbrush or your medications once you get there. Next, you should label your boxes on every side of the box. That way, in case they're stacked, you'll still be able to tell what room they're going to. And now I'm gonna give you some of my favorite packing tips. First, you can pack your necklaces inside of a toilet paper roll so they don't get tangled with other jewelry along the way. Anything that can open or move around, you should wrap in saran wrap so that it stays in place. Next, you can put disposable plates in between your real plates so they don't break while they're in the boxes. And finally, you can wrap any breakables in your clothing in case you don't have any bubble wrap. Step four, it's finally moving day. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is to label all the rooms in your house to match the labels on the boxes so the movers will know exactly where to bring everything. The next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is unpack your kitchen followed by your bed linens. You don't wanna be digging around for a cup to get a glass of water. And at the end of a long day of moving, you're just gonna to wanna to crawl into a freshly made bed. The last thing you wanna do is to make sure that anything that you're gonna store in a garage or a shed, you're taking proper precautions and covering everything so it's safe. We hope these moving tips have made your move as enjoyable and as stress-free as possible. If you need any more information, make sure you check out our blog. Enjoy your new home.